Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Shots fired. Kellyanne Conway just exposed the one thing Obama didn't want getting out. White House counselor Kellyanne Conway did not hold back. She tore into the Obama administration's lies about the unmasking scandal that happened. This is the Kellyanne that we all miss. She didn't hold back. Woo. That's why we love Kellyanne. Our president is standing up to the whole UN and the media is still attacking him. The news came out yesterday that Obama's administration has been unmasking hundreds of Americans. How much you want to bet that some of those are people associated with Trump? Screamed this from the rooftops. The time to drain the swamp is now. Obama's administration spied on an incoming president. How is this not treason? Share if you agree, Patriot. Trump just achieved the highest go lever that has everyone thunderstruck. President Trump has a lot of goals to accomplish as president. He intends to build a wall, he is determined to repeal and replace Obamacare, he is working on getting North Korea under control and to not be a threat to world safety. He is working hard to achieve all of those goals, and many more. But he has reached a goal about which he is very proud. He is the most tweeted about world leader at the UN General Assembly. Trump retweeted this, showing his pride and being at the top of the list. I'm sure the libs in the media will somehow twist this, but Trump has reason to be proud of this. What does it say about him? That people are listening to him, following what he does, care about what he says. Most importantly, it exemplifies that he is a leader above all others. Advertisement if you agree that Trump is a great leader, please get this shared with everyone you know and comment way to go Mr. President. H. T. The Hill Immediately after Trump's new sanctions, North Korea unveiled their evil plan to get revenge. Yesterday President Donald Trump signed an executive order that will prevent the U.S. from doing trade with any country caught trading with North Korea. Basically, Kim can only give up his nukes now or starve. Of course, you can bet the lunatic leader of the rogue state was not too happy when he saw Trump's new sanctions. Now, couple that with his UN speech where he promised to completely destroy North Korea, and you have a recipe for disaster. So what did Kim Jong-un do in response? He went and grabbed an even bigger hydrogen bomb. This time, however, he will not be testing it in North Korea. To prove that his country is not gonna back down, Kim decided he will explode the next one in the Pacific Ocean. This means he may fire it right over major Japanese cities or even next to the U.S. island territory of Guam. Kim said in his announcement. His, Trump's, remarks have convinced me, rather than frightening or stopping me, that the path I chose is correct and that it is the one I have to follow to the last. I will surely and definitely tame the mentally deranged U.S. dotard with fire. Regardless, it seems like major U.S. military bases are the targets of this newest threat. If North Korea hits anyone, they will be obliterated within hours. Still, a crazy guy with nukes is very dangerous. Is Trump making the right decision to stand tough against North Korea or is the left right that we would not be in a standoff if it were not for Trump? Comment your answer and help us share this out everywhere. Big heart after seeing hurricane damage, President Trump did something amazing for Puerto Rico. Admittedly, it was a bit strange to see President Donald Trump talking about Puerto Rican hurricane damage in the middle of his meeting with the Ukrainian Prime Minister yesterday. Still, he took the chance to announce his own big plans. While Trump was conversing with the PM, he turned to the camera and said he had a special report about the hurricanes. 
the U.S. will be working overtime to rebuild Puerto Rico and President Trump will go there himself to help out. The president talked specifically about rebuilding the Puerto Rican power grid, which was completely obliterated following Hurricane Irma and Maria. Since then, the U.S. territory has been without power. Sure, it's not a story of scandal or intrigue. There was no corruption, murder, nuclear missiles, or any of that. What this is is a story about a U.S. president who cares about all Americans including Puerto Rico. He cares enough to go himself to see the damage and help where he can. The media only seems to report anti-Trump stories. They thrive off of them. So help get this shared everywhere and show America the side of the president they don't get to see. media said Nikki Haley was gunning for Tyson's job, so she silenced them all with four simple words. One of the absolute stars of President Trump's administration has been UN Ambassador Nikki Haley. Since the very beginning, she has been both tough and fair and this week at the UN she shined even brighter. Rex Tyson, on the other hand, has been far less loved. Trump brought him on to help deal with China and Russia during the North Korean standoff. So far, he has failed on both. It's no surprise that rumors started that someone will replace Tyson as Secretary of State soon. And, honestly, who would be better for that job than Nikki Haley? Well, it all came to a head yesterday when she was finally asked if she wanted to be the next Secretary of State. Her answer silenced them all. No, I do not. I'd say that pretty much covers it, wouldn't you? Still. Ambassador Haley is not one to simply leave it so bluntly, so she explained her decision. What I'm trying to do is do a good job. And I'm trying to be responsible in my job. And I'm trying to make sure that I inform the American people everything that I know. That's what I'm trying to do and I'm trying to serve this president and this country the best I can. If people want to take it to mean something else, that's their issue, it's not anything I spend time on. That is the perfect attitude to have. Nikki Haley clearly does love her country and serves it the best she can. I honestly think she is a great choice to lead the State Department and hope she will take it if offered. Until then, help us get the shared out to thank Haley for the amazing job she has done in the UN so far. The Afghan president just leaned in and told Trump Obama's dirty deeds. One of Obama's major fails during his presidency, and there were many, was his policy in Afghanistan. He increased the number of troops in the war-torn country to about 100,000, yet he micromanaged his commanders to the point where they were totally ineffective. Obama announced he would begin withdrawing troops and gave a timeline as to when that would happen but then reneged in 2015 and stopped the withdrawal after the Taliban seized more territory than ever before. President Trump inherited Obama's Afghanistan mess. Reluctant to leave the country vulnerable to a total Taliban takeover by withdrawing all American forces, President Trump decided to stay in. President Trump's strategy is totally different from Obama's. He was going to let his commanders have free reign, trusting that they knew how to win more than he did and he wasn't going to announce to the world exactly what those plans were. Now, it seems like that strategy is paying off. President Trump met with Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani during the UN General Assembly in New York on Thursday. Ghani praised the US president's strategy in his country, saying the four weeks since Trump made his announcement have been like night and day for the country. That's right people before Trump equals night, after Trump equals day. His burn on President Obama was so subtle you might have missed it. He told the president. You made this decision on the basis of courage and determination. We salute your courage. The cloud of uncertainty has been lifted, but equally important is your commitment to a political solution at the end of this process. Ghani added. We do not ask for a blank check. We are determined to do what is ours, fight corruption, ensure that there's no waste of resources full accountability for the results, and significant momentum so that the American people can know that, under your wise leadership, 
the results that were not within grasp will now be achieved. Well, look at that folks, President Trump is reversing Obama's failed Afghanistan policy, and the Afghan president himself said it. Obama should be hanging his head in shame. H.T. Washington Times What Tucker Carlson just told Rob Reiner right to his face has Hollywood screaming. This was amazing. Tucker Carlson invited Hollywood director Rob Reiner to talk about the disgusting warmongering video that he released starring Morgan Freeman with a group of anti-Trump Renos. The committee to investigate Russia was produced this week. The committee includes Rob Reiner, James Clapper, and Max Boot. Tucker Carlson, I agree with you we are very divided. And maybe this is one of the reasons. A lot of this is disingenuous. Anyone who looks at cyber warfare will tell you, any honest person, will tell you the Chinese military is the primary culprit in the United States, hacked into the White House not too long ago. Nobody said anything. You guys in Hollywood sell your movies in China. You bow to the imperatives of their propaganda and censorship office. You change your movies to suit them. And yet no one says we're at war with China. Swamp attack Mueller just crossed the line and did something horrible to Trump. Special counsel Robert Mueller has now asked the White House to turn over all documents related to the Donald Trump Jr. statement on the meeting with a Russian lawyer at Trump Tower. The statement was supposedly drafted on Air Force One and was approved by President Trump. It was later shown to be false after Trump Jr. released his email messages from the meeting. Mueller's investigation is going too far and is a threat to our republic. According to Politico, the phone records from Air Force One are now included in the document request. Mueller is hoping to interview White House staffers that were present when Trump supposedly dictated Trump Jr.'s statement. Share this everywhere if you think the Mueller investigation is a sham attempt to take down our elected president. We cannot back down, y'all. The swamp is threatening to swallow our country and we cannot let it.